Hey, what's up guys? So, we're back here with Alan today and we did all this stuff off camera and he did a bunch of stuff off camera. So, we got the axles back on, the cross member back in, the engine mounts and then um, we got everything bolted down, torqued down and then all we need is, oh, the clutch is bled. We just bled that right now. And then, what else? He has, we have to do the coolant and then we'll take it out for a spin we turned the car on already and we went through the gears and it sounds fine except for third gear sounds like it's grinding but i feel like it's just not going in all the way so we'll figure that out in a bit and then um but it doesn't gauge so it'll grind when you go in but once it's in that's it it doesn't keep grinding so it's probably gonna be a problem with the bushing or something and then um i have a short shifter that i'm gonna give him later Hopefully that works and then uh, right now we're just going to fill up the coolant and then get a few shots of the car rolling up and down the street um, hopefully and yeah I mean that's pretty much it for now and then get his interior back together and stuff the stuff that he did have in there so I'm going to mount the camera up and then we're going to get to it alright guys so quick little update we um I told Alan to put it in gear and try and drive it. We put it in reverse and it starts to grind. But then uh, Alan remembered that we have no grease inside the, um, there's no gear oil in the transmission. So we ran to AutoZone really quick and we grabbed that. So right now we're gonna fill it up. Uh, he bought two, two quarts, two quarts of oil. It feels like, it feels like three. I know, but you bought two. Yeah, I bought two. He bought two cause we still have some in there. So we're just gonna leave whatever's in there for right now and then drain it later with some better stuff but right now we're just trying to get that noise to go away and see if it'll stop grinding because it it leaked all the way out so hopefully that's the problem that we're having if not then we're gonna have to start investigating on on the transmission so right now we're gonna get um that transmission fluid in and then take it for a test drive hopefully it stops making that noise all right so right now we filled up uh, alan filled up the trans he's gonna start the car and we're gonna see if it continues to make that uh, grinding sound. If not, then we're gonna have to stop and actually uh, take the trans back out later. So here, here he goes. It turned off? I wanna get out of gear. All right, all right, stop, 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 stop. All right, guys, so we filled up the transmission with transmission fluid. Um, it's going in in all the gears now because we were having a problem with the um, reverse sensor that we had to take off to put the the trans fluid in with so now it's going into all gears and we're gonna try and start it and see if it stops making that grinding noise so go for it what happened uh, it shut itself off All right, well, we're gonna figure this out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just that reverse sensor. And then uh, we'll be back. What's up guys? So today I'm over here with Alan. Say hi, Alan. What's up? And we have his car in jack stands cause as of the other day, the car started rolling away. You still have the clutch? No, I threw it in the trash. You threw it in the trash? They already took the trash? Yeah. yeah. All right, so. Here, this is your trench, right? Yeah, it's a major chop. So what was going on was that the clutch that was on the Gen 2, um, the splines are different on the transmission from the E153 to the S54. So what was going on was that um, you still have the new Axity clutch out here? Yeah. Let me show you guys. was that the splines on the inside are bigger, well, in diameter. So it wasn't grabbing onto the transmission the way we thought it would. And I didn't do my research before installing that transmission on that Gen 2 with that clutch. So I contacted um, Luis and 
he kind of just told me that it was supposed to be hybrid a hybrid clutch so that the s54 could fit on the on the gen 2 uh, perfectly he said it that's what he does I mean that's what I'm running on my gen 4 so I just I should have asked um, but his transmission is fine and the only thing that happened was that that clutch um, it, it stripped the splines so now we're basically waiting on um, on a new clutch disc because we figured all that out after we bought this kit not realizing that it had to be a hybrid so now we ordered the OEM Exidy clutch for the S54 so that we could hybrid it to all together with this pressure plate and the flywheel that's on the Gen 2. But other than that, that's going to be for another day and today we're working on this black MR2 which I already introduced and I've been running it like this with these lights. And it has this big ass dent right here. So I'm going to try my best to get it out. All of this. And realign all of this stuff back onto the lines. As best as I can. If I can't then I'm just going to chop all of this. And then find a replacement to weld back on. But it's worth a try. For now. So we're going to get started. And I'll keep updating as we go. What's up guys. So I left. Uh, did some stuff at home and then came back. But. Before I left, um, I was welding the little holes for the 91 wing, so that's that's off. And then um, I was welding here, you can see where I welded, and then I uh, had to re-weld some stuff right there, down here, and then uh, over here, because you could see where it was repaired once before, so I'm just uh, reinforcing that, and then um, this metal is like super thin, so it keeps burning it out, so I have to keep like arcing it in so that I have enough um yeah other than that it's looking a lot better right here this line so I'm just trying to weld that and then we're gonna keep um hammering this part out more so that it lines up with the light a little better um we did hammer it a lot because there was a big gap before like this was way back there it was like maybe like this much more of a gap there all the way back so that looks a lot better and then this line is almost where we need it we need it like a little bit closer to the light so we just push the light back a little bit and then um it'll be where we need it so as of right now i'm getting the welder um ready to start welding again it needs to warm up and then um i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna try doing all of the holes on on this uh trunk lid and then these holes as well so right now i'm gonna get the grinder and I'm gonna get all these holes ready so that I can just weld them all at one time. Now I'll just keep updating. All right guys, so right now I just finished up welding all the little holes. This is the second time I weld these, or the third, because there was tiny little like spot um, holes in them. So I got them covered and now I have to use the grinder to get all the access off again. And let me show you this side. So you could tell from before where they um, already welded this piece on. So I, I was just reinforcing it on this side because it was, it was a big gap. So I reinforced it there and then all of this, um, I mean there was a pretty big gap like that big all the way down here and then as well as here. It kept burning the metal because it was too thin but I finally got it to uh, arc all the way through and now I'm gonna grind that down and then probably just like hammer it out and then the rest will just be bondo but um, the only thing I need to worry about from now on is this line so that'll probably be fixed tomorrow so I think for today I'm gonna stop filming and then tomorrow when Ellen gets home I'll probably be back and we'll do more